Wembenyama's got a different hop in his step so far. Oh, hit him with right past MB! Team USA might have won, but Victor Wembenyama just proved why he is the best generational talent the NBA has ever seen. The way he finished his first Olympic season has people losing their minds. Just wait until you hear what he said after the final game. But really, the entire Olympics proved what we already know. Victor Wembenyama is already fighting to be the best basketball player on the planet. When the Olympics started, everyone marked France down as a potential threat to the United States. Not necessarily just because of Wemby, but because of that insane frontcourt. Victor Wembenyama and Rudy Gobert, the two best defensive big men on the planet, the idea of attacking that front line sent chills down fans' spines. But it actually didn't work out. And yet somehow they finished better than anyone could have imagined. France ended up playing Team USA in the gold medal game. Something that seemed like a pipe dream. We'll break down how they got there in a minute. But really, it's pretty simple. Victor Wembenyama. It turned out that Wemby and Gobert was a little redundant, so did they bench the 20-year-old without any big game experience? Of course not. Team France chose the young superstar over the four-time defensive player of the year, and he delivered. Gobert couldn't even play half of the gold medal game, while Wemby dropped 26 points in a game that served as a message to the world. He has arrived. But you know that this is not the first time we've seen something like this out of the alien, because he has been doing it since he walked into the league. We've already broken down what Wemby did as a rookie, but in case you forgot, it's pretty staggering. He became the first player since Manute Ball in 1986 to lead the league in blocks as a rookie. He swatted 3.6 shots per game, the most since Hassan Whiteside in 2016 and the most since a player who cared about the other aspects of good defense since Serge Ibaka in 2012. Sorry, Whiteside, but it's true. Wemby was the first guy with 20 points, 10 boards, and three blocks per game since Shaq in 2000, something that AD somehow never did. And Wemby was the first rookie to win Defensive Player of the Year. Oh, wait a minute. That's right, he got robbed of the award by the guy he replaced on Team France. Whoops. Number one picks rarely have great success in their rookie seasons. You have to go back to Markel Fultz in 2017 to see the last number one pick to make the playoffs in their first season. And Derrick Rose in 2008 to see the last number one pick who actually started a playoff game. The Spurs sucked, which is why they got Wemby in the first place. That was to be expected, though Jeremy Sohan playing point guard was one thing no one saw coming. Well, another thing that nobody saw coming was Victor Wembenyama actually having an impact on who won the NBA title. Wait, really? That's right, April 12th, Spurs Nuggets. The Spurs were short a couple players and the Nuggets were trying to hold on to the first place spot in the Western Conference. Instead, Wemby dropped 34-12 and and semi-shut down Nikola Jokic, beating the defending champs by one point. The Nuggets fell out of first place, forcing them to play the Timberwolves in round two. So instead of catching the young squad late in the playoffs, where they eventually choked against the Mavericks, the Nuggets lost to the team specifically designed to beat them while they still had their legs early in the playoffs. All because Wemby had as he called it, the greatest game of his career. Now on top of all of that, he became the youngest player to have a 5x5 and the only one to do it in 30 minutes or less. He became the first rookie to have 25, 10, 5, and 5 in back-to-back -back games. He's only the second player after Rafe LaFrentz of all people to drop 100 threes and 200 blocks in a season, and he was the youngest player ever named to the all-defensive team. Are you still not convinced that he's the greatest young talent we have ever seen? Just wait till you see what he did in the Olympics, because he might have actually been the best player this summer. He dominated Brazil in his first game of the actual tournament, finishing with 19 points and 3 blocks. Got the switch with Pereira, looking inside for Wembenyama. Quick kick, 3 ball. Platoon comes up short, rebound, batted around, Wembenyama. Wembenyama does it himself, oh. 
Keener right back to him. Five on the clock. He's going to have to make it happen himself with the height advantage. Just puts it up over the top, and that's exactly what he does best. He's just too big and too fluid. But it wasn't just his scoring. How they can continue to keep this game in check. Wemby, great pass! Get out the way! Of course, you already know where most of his highlights come from. Felicio hands it off. Jorginho bounces it to him. Felicio blocked inside! A race by Wemby It's just unfair. It doesn't even look like he can stretch that far, and then he slams it down like Michael Jordan in Space Jam. Yama face up. Wemby uh. to the bucket! Looking like Michael Jordan extending his arm in space jam. France almost fell to Japan, narrowly missing an embarrassing upset. Of course, Wemby would not let them. He just wouldn't let them go down. France fell against Germany, the reigning FIBA champs. They beat Canada, though Wemby had a bad game. No one expected France to pull it off, but Canada just straight up choked. It was the Germany game, the semi-finals, when the world realized France might actually pull this thing off, winning by four points. Then came the real test, Team USA. Wemby has got a different hop in his step so far. Oh, hit right the past the MB! And how about Wembenyama attacking the rim? On a court with LeBron, Steph, KD, and the best in the world, Wemby shined the brightest. He finished the game with 26 points, more than anyone on Team USA, even Steph, who went nuclear from deep. He shot an insane 73% from the floor, refusing to go down without a fight. In the end, Team USA pulled it out for the win. 98-87. But it was a three-point game with only a couple minutes to go, all because of Wemby. Wemby was crying after the game, proving that he actually thought he was going to win against this team of superstars. That is what you want in a player, a healthy amount of delusion. And why wouldn't he? Among all Olympians, Wemby was first in blocks, sixth in points, and second in rebounds. He thrived on the biggest stage, while guys like Anthony Edwards choked. No shame on Ant, that's what young guys are supposed to do at this age. But not Wemby. Afterwards, he posted this, the absolute truth. It's just the beginning. How high can he go when it's all said and done? Last year, Wemby was touted as the most hyped rookie since LeBron. He has at least matched that. LeBron went to the finals in year four. He won MVP in year six. Can Wemby do that? He's already got a silver medal, which is better than what Braun had after his rookie year, but we don't talk about that Olympics. Genuinely, Wemby might finish as a top five player of all time. If 20 years from now, people were arguing LeBron, MJ, or Wemby, would you be shocked? We can already see the first take headlines. We might be getting ahead of ourselves, but we've never seen a player like this, a guy who can move so fluidly at that height. He's at least three inches taller than KD, and he can do a pretty good Slim Reaper impersonation. So again, how high will he go? Let us know in the comments. All we know is that next year, things are about to get crazy. Last season, we predicted that Wemby would lead the league in blocks and go 20, 10, and three, and we were right. We were wrong about the Spurs fighting for the playoffs. Does that change this year? Because the West has only gotten better. Of course, it's still hard for number one picks to make the playoffs even in year two. LeBron didn't, after all. But what can Wemby do next year? 25, 11, and four is pretty much guaranteed. It's hard to see Gobert ever winning another Defensive Player of the Year. And after the backlash voters got this season, Wemby should win even if his team sucks. But if the Spurs make the playoffs, can he win MVP? because we haven't even talked about one insane addition to his team next year. Chris Paul, the point god. The Hornets slash Pelicans, the Clippers, the Rockets, and the Suns all had their best historical season with Chris on the team. He fixed the Warriors bench and turnover issues last year, though that did not fix all of the other problems in that franchise. Chris Paul is the big man whisperer, even getting DeAndre Jordan a first team in 2016. If anyone can get the best out of Wemby for a year or two, even at this age, it's CP3. Will the Spurs make the playoffs next year? If they do, will he win MVP? Is Wemby the most impressive generational talent you've ever seen, or are we just a little too close to it right now? 
Let us know in the comments and watch one of these videos next. Listen to the wrong opinion, useless NBA trivia and garbage rankings for more NBA content.